Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John 34 here to bring you guys the Super Bowl match, which is the final game of Season 2. If you guys have been following me the whole season of Season 2, it has been a hell of a season. New roster, everybody's getting replaced left and right. You know, new tight end, rising stars, Jadavion Clowney, uh, Jake Amaro, Dante Whitner, Mike Adams. It was just a total, like, replacement team, and goddamn, I went undefeated. But let me tell you a secret, guys. It was not because of the roster. It was because of the defense, defensive playbook that my brother taught me. I'm not advertising. I'm not telling you that, oh, it's because my brother paid me to, to say this. Like, no. I'm being honest, guys. If it wasn't for Shocker 360's uh, ebook, uh, defensive ebook, I wouldn't have gone and defeated the season. I believe I would have gone like at least 5-5 five and five or something. And maybe I would have lost in the wild card. So... I would like to give thanks to Shocker360 because if it wasn't for him, if it wasn't for my brother, I wouldn't have gone undefeated. So anyways, let's talk about the gameplay Super Bowl match between me and the, this Dallas Cowboys team, Abe. It says right there on top and never shows the full name, I don't even know why. But yeah, I'm the 49ers. This guy's scheme uh, is pretty much run down the middle and short pass. That's all he did. Look at this. <laughs> Jerome may have popped his ass right there. But, uh, but yeah, that's all he did. And it was a good scheme. I'm, I admit it, that was a good offensive style. I couldn't stop it. My defense was getting wrecked, and I was like, this is the reason why I need run stuff. <laughs> I was so pissed, actually, in that first drive. I was like, damn, I'm not shattered yet. I can do this. So I'm, I'm on offense now. Jake Amaro, open right there. He's doing his best to actually gain some yards. Amazing. I think he's a great pickup. It's short right there. And bam, Ryan Tannehill forced fumble. I was like, what the fuck just happened? I was like, damn, this guy's going to be up 14-0 if he keeps on doing his runs. And he pulls out his screen. I thought he was going to score all the way. Seriously, it looked like that. And I was worried. I was already worried because it was, it, was, it was already the second quarter. And I was like, damn, this guy's going to lead. And he wasted a whole first half. And bam, interception with Brandon Browner. He went off his style to throw. I'm guessing he got a little bit confident. So I was like, yeah, all right. Ball back. I'm always dangerous, guys. I'm always dangerous in the last minute of the second quarter and the fourth quarter. If you guys have seen every single one of my videos, I am freaking dangerous in the last minute. I don't know why, but it's just, I'm like, I'm doing every single passing play in my playbook. Because I have trained every, in every single one of those. So, Jake Amaro, back-to-back, 30-plus -back, yards gained. Amazing catch. A little bit of a rollout to Jermichael Finley and touchdown. The score is now 7-7. Nothing happened, you know, in the kickoff. And the last 20 seconds of the second quarter, nothing happened. I uh, ended up with the ball back in the third quarter. And, um, you know, I was doing pretty good. And then this guy started to lag. That's what happened. Like, in the third quarter, it was like pure lag, lag fest. It was just a lag fest. Look at this. I'm just lagging, and I'm like, dude, come on. Fix your goddamn Wi-Fi. How can there still be lag in the freaking next gen, man? Seriously, it pisses me off. I got a wired connection, so you guys cannot blame me. I didn't have my even a single window open in my computer. So, can't blame me. It's my opponent who's actually lagging. So, there I am, just advancing little by little. That was my strategy. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to advance little by little, avoid interception, and just try to score as much as possible because this lag is killing me. And that's all I did. Missed direction to the right side with Doug Martin and touchdown. And this guy is still not doing anything. That's one thing that I noticed about this guy. He's going off his game plan. If you guys remember his first drive, he was owning me. Seriously, it could have been 14-0 by now or 14-14. But why is this guy starting to pass? I don't understand. His passing freaking route sucks ass. He only got lucky in a few times and that's it. But he ain't getting nothing. Look at this. Look at this. Interception by Dante Whitner. He could have just ran the ball. I mean, he had enough time. Look at the time. He, he had the ball like at 245. Why didn't he just run the ball? I don't know. So, I'm back in offense, trying to see if I can get a field goal or something. T.Y. Hilton didn't make the first down. I was like, all right. You know, I believe in David Akers to making a field goal. Kick the field goal. David Akers. Oh. The score is now 17-7. So, now he has to score and do an onside kick. And I was like, damn, dad. This guy is not going to do anything. He couldn't do nothing in passing. All he had to do, like, I was like, you can't do anything. You can't. You just can't. So, Gerard Mayo 
with an interception all the way for a touchdown. I was like, damn, this game is done. It's over. I'm done. It's a done deal, guys. I won the game. And another interception with Amon Brooks. So, guys, I won the Super Bowl of Season 2. Amazing. I think the guy with the Legends and the Elites had more chances than this guy. Seriously. I would have I would have rather faced that other guy <laughs> than this one. I mean, his quarterback was Brian Hoare. None of his players stood out, actually. None of them, except for Ryan Matthews. And he had Ryan Matthews, by the way. What the hell? So anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed Season 2, leave a like on the video. Leave me your comment on which, was, was, uh, which one was your best, um, you know, game. You know, which one did you like? Um, I know there has been, like, around 11 games. Tell me which one did you like. Um, I don't know. For me, I liked all of them. I really enjoyed playing Madden 15. I will keep on doing this, guys. Season 3 will be coming up in one week because I need to do the off season. I need to collect the real players. I need to get to 85 overall. I need to do several solo challenges in order for me to do that. Like, it's going to be a total freaking nightmare. But still, I'm going to recruit the best players so I can go undefeated again on Season 3. So... If you guys want to see more Madden 15, subscribe for more. It's going to be a hell of a time. I really enjoy doing this. I don't treat this as a business. I treat this like I want to fucking play it again. So from a 4-6 and six of Season 1 to an undefeated Season 11-0, and 0, it was just an incredible season, guys. A lot of replacements, a lot of action, a lot of Doug Martin, especially, you know. Damn, look at this. 8 out of 8 with Ryan Tannehill. I did show all the passes, I believe, I think. This guy had Brian Hoyer. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Look at this. Look at this. He had Ryan Matthews and Sex Stacy. He had no one over 85 overall. How the hell did this guy make it to the finals? How? Because he probably just ran all day. He was doing a hell of a job running. But why did he change game plan? That's what I don't understand. He changed the game plan after the first quarter. He just started to pass, and like he was like he looked like he wanted to prove me wrong because I freaking burned him several times when I had the ball in the second quarter, and then the third quarter also. And then he had the ball. He tried to pass, and he just couldn't do anything. So that's the problem with most of the gamers. Like you don't change your game plan. Go with the flow if it's working for you. So. That is it for now, guys. If you guys enjoyed Season 2, like this video. Subscribe for more. Season 3 coming up in one week. We're going to be doing off-season this whole week. So, do not miss out. See you guys later.